Deepak Chopra said, the best use of imagination is creativity, and the worst use of imagination is anxiety. Author and illustrator Bev Aisbert knows both sides intimately, but she used this creativity to bring her anxiety to life in the form of a creature she called It. Bev, I've got to say I am so excited to meet you in the flesh because I feel like it was a point in my life, it was the worst time of my life and I walked into a bookshop and I picked up your book Living With It and I started reading and I swear to God it changed my life. So firstly I want to say thank you so much. You're how did very you, welcome. You're how very did you welcome. become such an expert on the subject? Oh gosh, well, um, personal experience. Um, I really did have very severe anxiety back in the early 90s. So why did you feel the need to actually create a character to explain what you're feeling? I came up with the idea of living with it because people referred to it in a negative way. And, um, I started thinking about what is it and Stephen King has given one form of that answer and in, in a sense we're not so different in coming to that idea that there's um, that aspect of self that is our worst fear. People would say I can't stand it and I'll never get over it and it's killing me without really being specific. So in terms of anxiety, I decided to bring that big dark force down to size, make it into a cartoon character that was more naughty than gothic. And the idea in the end is to make friends with you because that's you. It's not something outside. Is it something that anyone can do to draw their own it? Is it to have a bit of a play around and, and actually draw your inner monster? Would you like to have a go? I think so. I think I can go. I, <laughs> I don't know if that. I'm very good at drawing, but I'll give it a go. So how does it make you feel to look at your it on paper? It kind of makes it a bit more real, doesn't it? So if you look at this little guy or girl or whatever it is, it's actually quite cute underneath. It is quite cute. <laughs> underneath. It's, it's not a big... It feels like a little, a young person. That's right. Yeah. It feels like a child. Yeah. So if you want to make friends with this little dude, <laughs> and make room for that little dude. Yes. So that it doesn't feel lonely, I yeah. guess. Or overwhelmed in the same way that you might parent your own children. Yep. Yeah, that's a really good thought. And it really changes. I think I'm going to need to ponder all of what you've just said to me and really let it sink in. <laughs> well, it is a big subject. It's huge. I mean, in fact, anxiety is only the tip of the iceberg. It's just a road into um, seeing ourselves. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Bev. Yeah. I think you've changed lots of lives around the world. Thank you very much, Angie.